Welcome back everyone. With iOS 14, one of the biggest additions to it would definitely be the home screen widgets. Now, you might be in a situation where you don't know anything about the widgets, you don't know how to add them or whatever to do with them, so I'll go ahead and do a brief introduction to them if you guys are kind of stuck. Now, widgets are basically these new home screen layouts that basically allow you to gain more information of an app without actually being able to open it or whatever. So in this case, you can see I have the access to the battery percentage right here. So I can actually see, you know, the battery percentage here. I can see the weather here. I can see photos that I set up here, which we'll get into in a second, and a lot of other official and third party widgets that are available. So. I can go ahead and do the smart widget if I want to, which I'll go ahead and break down right now. But in order to add a widget, what you want to do is swipe to the left side of the screen. Now you'll get into a page like this, which may look confusing, but this is pretty much the widget layout. Now you can utilize these widgets and look at them without even having to put them on your main screen. So if you're on the home screen, for example, you can also unlock it, swipe to the side and have access to all of your widgets here without even having to unlock your phone. So. They still give you a lot of information here. Widgets have been around since like iOS 10, I think. So there's still a lot of capability within them without having to put them on your screen. Now, beyond that, let's say you want to go ahead and drag one of these widgets to your main screen. What you want to do in that situation, you just want to hold down the widget. You'll come into this page. You want to click edit home screen. So you want to go ahead and click on that and you'll come into wiggle mode or whatever people call it. Now, in this case, let's say we want to use this calendar widget and we want to drag it to our home screen. All we want to do is hold it down like this and we can actually drag it over to our main display just like so. I'll go ahead and try it again. That was being a little weird. So I can go and drag it. And as you can see, I can go ahead and paste it wherever I want to. Now the other widgets kind of dynamically switch over. Now you can't stack a widget on top of another widget just yet, but you can go ahead and drag it over to whichever page you want to. So let's go ahead and say, I want to paste it right here. This seems to be a good spot. In that case, I would just hope to, you know, kind of get out of wiggle mode and then drag the icon and and then everything dynamically switches around it, which is really, really awesome. So in this case, that's really all you have to do. And you can do this with any of the widgets here. Now you have the stock widget, you have calendar widgets, you have the news widget, which is right here. Now all these widgets are sometimes different sizes. So if you want this widget here, you can go and drag it to the main display, same exact process. Now you can see this one, which is a large widget. So this one usually typically takes up a whole page, if not, you know, most of the page. So in this case, if you want to drag it, you go ahead and do the same exact thing. Hold it down, click into edit home screen, or just drag it out. Now in this case, it doesn't look like we're able to drag this one out, which is kind of weird. But beyond that, let's say we want to go ahead and edit a specific widget. So in this case, let's go back to the calendar widget. What we can do is we can go and hold it down. We can click edit widget, which is right here. So you want to go and click on that. You'll come into this page and you'll have a couple of options. Now every widget is different. So in this case, you can click mirror calendar app and it'll go and whatever you have in the calendar, it'll go here. But if you don't want that, you can go and disable that and go from there. And you can do this with all sorts of widgets for this one, click here. Some of them don't have it, but some of them might. The same thing with the battery widget, hold it down. Again, it doesn't have it, but some of them do, which is really cool. Now beyond that, what we can do is we can scroll down and at the very bottom, you can see a edit button. Now what we can do here is we can click on it and we will see a, you know, the squiggle mode so we can go and drag it from here. But as you can see in the top left corner, you do have a plus button. So what we can do here is click on the plus button, which might take a couple of tries and you'll come into this page. So you'll see even additional widgets. So you have ones for health, you have ones for the clock, you have ones for all sorts of different things. Now what we can do here is we can go ahead and tap on a widget just like the clock one and we can actually go ahead and change the size of it. So let's say this one is too small, I want a bigger one. Well, you can go and swipe to the side and get this specific layout or you can swipe to the side again and get this specific layout. So this is really, really cool for those people who want to go ahead and you know get bigger or smaller widgets and you want to change a little bit more of it. So you can go ahead and dynamically change them here, which is really cool. Now we can go and swipe down and get into another one. Let's just say this one, go ahead and tap on it. Let's say you want a smaller one, go here. If you want a bigger one, go here. If you want the symbol one, if you want this one, you can go here. It really matches up with the Apple Watch, which is really nice. Now, if you scroll down even more, you'll see these specific widgets down here. Now, what these ones are, are pretty much, you know, either third-party widgets that you may have installed or stock ones that you already have. And it kind of breaks it down a little bit better for you. Now, the smart stack widget is one that dynamically changes to your use. So it has some ones built in, which I, which I kind of showed you in the beginning with. You have the batteries, you have pretty much all these different widgets. You have maps. And whichever third party ones that you have will also be here. So Widgetsmith, for example, is here and you can use this one easily. So this is another one where I'm going to make a separate video on. But let's just say we wanted to use, let's just say, you know, Apple TV, for example, we can tap on it, get here and we can go ahead and dynamically pick whichever one we want. So let's say we want the biggest one. In this case, you'll go ahead and 
make sure you have this one highlighted. You go and click Add Widget, and it'll go ahead and add the widget into this display. What we can do here, though, is we can go and hold it down and drag it to whichever display we want to. So let me go ahead and paste it all the way, let's just say, right here. Now, as you can see, it takes up a little bit of the display. And then it went ahead and switched over here. It takes up a majority of it. You still have the ability of having an extra little widget here or another widget here or two rows of apps. So this is pretty much the largest widget that you can drag over. So again, same exact process. You can hold it down. You can move it wherever you want to. And basically, you just rinse and repeat to all the other widgets that you want. And again, if you need any help, you can always drag it down. You can always click on it and it'll go ahead and allow you to gain some more information of it. But the best thing to do is if you're stuck, you can click edit. You can click the plus button and this will show you all the widgets that you have available. So that's really pretty much it, a little breakdown of it. If you guys have any questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my main channel. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.